Right, here we are, back at it again, Ruckus Rugby, another episode, and we're going over our, well, our possible squad for the Rugby Championship 2019, um, the whole squad, um, probably don't know exact how many they're going to take, but um, this is just a, like a rough outline of yeah. who we think should be in the squad. Um so we're going to go through props, hookers, locks, so on and so forth. And we'll kick it off with you then, Chris. Who have you got for props and why? All right. I got, I got um, Owen Franks, Nepo La Lala, Joe Moody, Carl Tuinuki Afe, and Offa Tuanga Fasi. Who you got? So I've got pretty much the same. So Franks, Tunga Fasi, Tunukuafi, but I've got instead of Lau Lala, I put Angus Tavau and Joe Moody. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, I just chose mine. They they had they they're capped. You know they 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 tested and proven. It's not really a year to experiment anymore. So mm. that's why I just gone with that. And I, oh, I do yeah. I do like um. Especially off of Tonga Fussy. He he or F offers some pretty big defense too. So I got I quite like him. And I mean it's it's a logical choice when you look at um I mean the blues scrum. I mean Yeah. It's a powerful scrum. It's the it's the only one that actually rivaled the Crusaders, so I mean Well, it was actually the best scrum in the whole competition. Yeah. So it did more than, although they, they, I mean, they kind of um, man shamed each other a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I just put Ta'avel because he, he he's been in a he's been in pretty good form. Um, he's working quite hard, so you know he, he he's showing us. He had a few, form. Yeah, he had a few bad games earlier this year, but it was because they put him on the other side of the scrum because they yeah. had so much injury. Yeah, and he he Not quoted as saying that it, it's quite a difference when you go. You know, to the other side of the scrum. So, yeah, yeah. It's probably like right. you're right-handed, and then you suddenly have to use your left hand. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, moving on to hookers. Who did you have? I just got Dane yeah. Coles, Nathan Harris, and Cody Taylor. But I guess you could you could take mm. um, what's his name and the Highlanders, uh, Liam Coltman as well. Yeah, Liam Coltman's been around. He's been. Well, he's not a kept all black though, eh? No, he's not. No, he, no, he is. Oh, is he? Yeah, played, yeah. He's played more um, than one game. I think. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's kind of yeah. There's like a solid base of hookers that you're not really going to change. Yeah, I mean, there's other people you could call up to. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I had I had Cody Taylor, Dane Coles, and Nathan Harris. So. I I would say the Hurricanes have got the best hookers. Um, Riccatelli, I could I could put him in the black shirt, and yep. also Almua. He's already got a cap, so yeah. Oh, I just like him because he's powerful, smashing people. Yeah, over. he doesn't even it's have to gonna, get. It's gonna get like, and he was oh, has and on defense, he's a machine as well. Like you talk about yeah. Laomapi not really defensively showing up, but Almua, man, Whew. yeah, he's a brick wall. No, he is good. Okay, locks. All right. Um, oh, who'd you go for? The same. So, oh, well, I went for well, well I went for White Lock, Retellet, Tui Pilotu, and Hemopul. Oh yeah, I went for Scott Barrett, Brody Retellet, uh, Patrick Tui Pilotu, and Samuel White Lock. Yeah. I, I didn't want to choose. I would have put Hemopul in there, but. He's leaving, so it's kind mm. of like no reason to put him in there anymore. You may as well yeah. get someone else a shot. Or like, but he's a bit. I mean, so but we're both going off locks. I know, but in terms of versatility, he can play six as well. Not yeah, as but best, so, position, so, but, but but Scott Barrett can too. Yeah, well, that so. goes into what later on. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did you put Scott Barrett in your locks? Yeah, no. So I put Scott Barrett in the loose forwards. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I just like um Patrick Patrick Tu Tui in there because if he's I if he's coming off the bench, I'd probably always have him on the bench and yeah, put Scott Barrett as a loose forward cover. Because when mm. they bring them on, 
they got like a huge line out like it's and like their their presence around you know they got bullied by england and ireland a bit in the forwards once yeah. you bring them on it's a bit, a bit of a different game and then you've got that ball carrier and tui Palato as well mm. you can charge it up yeah yeah he calls line outs too so um yeah it's quite useful so okay loose forwards i so i put i put barrett Savia, Kane, Frizzell, and Squire. Okay. Um, I put Akira Ioani, Sam Kane, Karen Reed, Artie Savia, Liam Squire, and Tom Robinson. Yeah. I it, think... Um, good choices. See, I would have picked Ioani. See, that, that was my indecision because I had Barrett, Savia, and Kane, and the indecision was either Frizzell or Squire or... Or or Yoani. Yeah, but you need someone else that's going to play if Karen Reed gets injured. I think you need another yeah. number eight. And I mean, you could put Artie Savia there. I'd almost rather just have Artie have Savia. Break. Yeah. It... Like I think I think Artie Savia this season, you can no longer leave him on the bench. He's played so good. Yeah. Even if Sam Kane was fit all year, I don't think he was going to play to that level. Like, he's just been really good. I mean, so yeah. Is, so, is, so is Liam Squire since he's come back. The thing with Kane, though, is you know he's going to he's gonna make tackles, you know? Yeah, so so maybe you can have that quiet guy there and Ardi Savir at six to um, be more... Um, of a presence. He's more of an enforcer, Jerome Kane, no kind of person anyway. Yeah. Again, though, I wanted to choose Shannon Brazil, but he's leaving. So I thought Tom Robinson, give him a shot. Yeah. Um, I, can't even, I can't even remember the last ringer and uh, the all that. He, unfortunately, I, well, I, there was a, you know, when you look at the things on Facebook, like Rugby Rampage, you know, they, they, they you know, yeah. They deal in rumours, right? But, you know, the thing is, yeah. um, they said that he, he, I think he's picked up an injury after Super Rugby. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that might probably rule him no. out because the, okay. he's definitely on the All Blacks' radar. Well, if I couldn't take him, phew, yeah, I'm not really worried about number six because you can put Barrett there, you can put Artie yeah. Savia there. Um, so I would probably just take Matt Todd because he deserves it. Mm. That's the thing why um, the loose forwards are a bit of a, a harder selection because there's a lot of players that you can move around. Yeah. What, what about what about Matt Todd at six, Sam Kane at seven, and Adi Savera at eight? How about that? Well, yeah, I wouldn't have a problem Steph, with that. Steph Galore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone's really in there. They... Everyone's in there stealing the ball. <laughs> I don't really think they lose anything either. Well, they might lose. Funny, but yeah. yeah, I mean, Todd's not now. Out out they lose some. Attack. That's probably your only downside to that. It's basically the same, oh, yeah. the same job, though, isn't it? Maybe more more attack. Yeah. Though. I don't know. It could be interesting. But yeah, I'd like to see, I'd love to see Tom Robertson get a shot. Oh, yeah. Well, if it's not now, yeah. he will definitely get a shot. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's possible because I think they like their forwards to have some caps, though, if they're going into this kind of situation. So they probably would rather take Frizzell or whoever. I, but yeah, again, but you are right about one thing. We do need another big ranger just running around. I mean, we haven't seen yeah. those days in a while. So um, he's aggressive and he's he's good at like breaking the light, like breaking tackles. He's quite fast. He and defensively, he's like challenging rucks quite aggressively. Yeah. You know, you see some people just do it half heartedly. He's actually trying to, you know, damage them. Yeah. So yeah, good to see. You. That's what you want. All righty. Um. Scrum halves, and I mean, this is probably the most like solid, you know. Yeah. No one's. You can no, choose one. Choose yeah. one bolter. 
Yeah, there's not any surprise. Well, yeah, so Smith, Pitanara, and, and Weber. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. I just think he, he played really good, Brad Weber. TJ, you know who didn't really play good as Aaron's? No, yeah. Not, yeah. Um, yeah. I would just give the starting position to uh, TJ Perinara in, in one game, and then I'd give, like, Aaron Smith another start. And whoever does better, whoever makes look, look makes the team look like um, they're more of a threat, I would give that starting position to. Because, yeah, I think Aaron Smith's been figured out a bit by a lot of people too, especially overseas. Mm. They know how to you – know, you, it's pretty hard to shut down TJ Perinara because he's not just going to do one thing. Yeah, run it. It, it's yeah. kind of like, I mean, no disrespect to Aaron Smith, he's a world-class player, but it seems to me now that mainly what everyone just talks about is just the bullet pass. Yeah. Not really any other facets of his play. I mean, he, I mean he's got a, lo- a, a good box kick. Um, yeah, he's got at support play too. Yeah, very vocal. He's very vocal. But uh, not as much as DJ Perinara. Oh, yeah. Even... And, and you know how, you know, uh, on the kickoff or the, I think maybe the kickoff, they asked a couple of times now they've said, who is the most annoying player to, or who do you hate playing against? And they say TJ Perinara because he's got a big mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. He can annoy them. He can tilt them. But yeah, I, I, Brad Weber, he's played really good. He's been the captain a few times. Yeah. He's definitely put his name forward. A selection, yeah, and, right. and I think he's good all round too. Great at attack. Yeah, and he's got good, pretty good passes and stuff too. So, yeah, I think he'd be like, especially off the bench, he'd be pretty good because mm. he'd be trying to snipe and stuff. So, yeah, none of this Tehudi or any crap. <laughs> no offense to him, but it's just yeah, he hasn't yeah. done anything I, to get selected. Well, felt. I don't think he's got that all-round game yet, or that just he's just not. He hasn't had the time to develop it because they don't exactly. I, I yeah. mean, if they really, you know, they say they don't influence teams, but maybe they should influence um the Chiefs to send him elsewhere, like down to the oh, I don't know somewhere, <laughs> other than the um <laughs> down to the somewhere, just send them to the abyss. <laughs> Well, if, if the All Blacks want him, he should be in a starting position. So he should, for the Super Rugby team. I reckon send him to the Hurricanes. Yeah. Um, he could, I mean, the Hurricanes, I mean, after TJ Perinara, there's no one really nipping or challenging Perinara, well, really. That, that guy's all right. He's also a ranger. Yeah. He's all right. He did pretty good when he got a start, so... But yeah, that's that. Yeah, Hurricanes probably is a good place to go. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. Well, number tens. I think that's. Yeah, I, I, real... I guess you could choose. I could. You could choose. Th- I only chose two: Bowden Barrett and Richie Moanga. If Mackenzie was fit, obviously he would be there. Yeah. He he he'd be there, but he'd most likely be used as a, a at the back somewhere. A utility cover. Yeah. Because. Yeah. I guess Richie Wonga and him are so good. It's kind of like Artie Savier and Sam Kane. You just want them both on the field. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a long. It's no longer about posi- what position you play or what you cover. It's about your team having the most best rugby players on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since McKenzie's not fit, did you choose three or just two? I just chose two, but I'm, I'm but I'm gathering that I think you've got someone in mind. Well, who? Oh, well, I would say Marty Banks, but um, he's leaving, so that's yeah. not happening. But okay, if if there's because they're not going to choose someone leaving, I guess. Otherwise, they may as well just choose like call Aaron Cruden or Lima Sabuanga up. Yeah, well, that's who I was. The, the, I think I thought the logical thing was if they went through injuries, they'd just call up Sabuanga. No, they won't. They won't. Um, Unless they're playing for Exeter, um, they made a I think Exeter or the Harlequins or one of those teams, um, the All Blacks made a contract with, so you can go overseas to that team, and you can still get selected. Oh, okay, so they made yeah. like individual things for teams. They've got for one team. They got like a partnership of one of the teams. One or, team. Or that, What's the point the, of that? Yeah. Um, 
well, so they can send maybe that. So players will, if they want to go overseas, they could just go there, and then they can still get selected for the All Blacks. Maybe okay. that's. The- <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like know, a, I don't know if they actually passed it, but that's what they're doing. Yeah, or done. yeah. But, uh, but you, you think about it; it's good. then it could be like a thing. Like you think about it, all these All Blacks could go play for Exeter or, or whoever it is. Well, they're not going to take everyone. Oh yeah, I know. But imagine, but it's like because of the rule, they could go over and Exeter stack with All Blacks. What they might do is suggest like the third choice ten, for example, go to go there to get some experience. Hmm. But probably Super Rugby is better to play in anyway. But oh, if you had to choose someone, a number 10, a third choice, that's in New Zealand and staying in New Zealand, who would you choose? Oh, well, a good question. Mm. No one really stands out. Yeah, I guess I, uh, I would take. Um, I guess you could take that, Yuani, um, from the Highlanders. Yeah, but that, that he's kind of the same. Came to my mind. He's he's kind of the same story. Actually, all of them are. None of them are good at kicking. You could go Harry Plummer too. Uh, there's a few choices. Yeah. Yeah, but oh yeah, they're in trouble if someone gets injured. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not hope we go through another classic bloody spate of 10 injuries because it won't look good. No. Oh, well, they've got lots of 10s, but they're not in New Zealand. Yeah. All right. Um, centres. I'll kick it off that one with you. Okay. I got Ryan Crotty, Ma Nonu, Anton Leonard Brown, Sonny Bill. Yep, so pretty much. So I got Crossy, Anton Leonard Brown, Nonu, and Good Hugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good centers. Someone's going to miss out. Mm. But um, I don't think they're going to leave Sonny Bill out because it seems like he, no matter what he does, no matter what kind of season he has, they're going to just choose him. Yeah. They have like a heap of respect for him. I and I think he even meets with them still. Like, you know, he, he yeah. I don't think they're gonna leave him out. They probably leave Nonu out. I'd say. Yeah. Because they, I don't even think they've contacted him at all, even though he's played really well. I think you know, hundred caps. You got to take that to a World Cup. You just got to. Yeah, I mean, who, well, yeah. The only other outsider that you'd take would be, if there was an injury, in my opinion, would be La Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Yeah. I not think of it. I mean, there's some. Yeah, there's no experimentation. That yeah. Would, yeah. I think I, guess I, mean, Matt, I think Matt Proctor is the one after that. Yeah. Because they've done the All Blacks coaches have are, they've done their groundwork with centre combinations. Yeah. So and they still they still don't know who's the starting. Yeah, that's why. I mean, w- w- when you look at All Blacks games over the last couple of seasons, it's always been chop change, you know. Yeah. Like a revolving Especially door. Yeah. Especially yeah. Um. Back three. Well, okay, I got Jordy Barrett, Reiko Ioani, uh, Ben Smith, and Severis. You yep. probably want to take more than that, possibly. Yeah, but that's what. But, yeah, that's what I picked as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could choose. I don't know. Um, you could choose any one of the. He's a good finisher, so you you could take Braden Enor or George Bridge. But I think he's he's. They need a number fourteen. He plays in fourteen. So yeah, yeah. I just give let him have a go, test it out. They and if it doesn't work out, they can just put in the hollow back in for the World Cup. Yeah, they they got experience there. But I would just test someone. I'd leave some mainstream All Blacks out or people on the fringe, 
And if this person goes good, they're out. And if they don't go good, I'll call them back up and they can come back in. Like, nah, hold on. Because he didn't really do that yeah. much this season. He, he was injured, but... Because the thing, I've, I've been impressed with Barrett, though. Um, he's really stepped it up. Yeah. I would really just put him on the wing. He, he played against yeah. Italy there, so... And that's the kind of player they want there. And he's a goal-kicking option. Big boot. Yeah. Full, but yep. Big fullback. So they got pretty strong under the high. They'll be pretty strong under the high ball. And he's kind of a bit like Falau. He's massive, so it's pretty hard to yeah. win a aerial challenge against him. Yeah. I wouldn't trust his skills as much as I'd trust Israel Falau's, but yeah. You see, it's like, it's like the thing with Sevu Reese as well is like. He has not been really put under any sort of pressure. Yeah. I mean, how is he going to fear in a, in a World Cup situation? Um, yeah. So you're pretty right, good. Right. I mean, that, that's probably why they chose Reko Yuani too. He's in a, like a failing team, yet he's still able to score. So, whereas like Sever Reese, oh, he is doing some pretty magical things, but he's getting like real crisp, clean balls and like the inside players are, like, drawing defenders and stuff for him to score tries. So, we'll see. He probably won't get called up. Well, I didn't hear a word you said there, but... Um... I, I, I'm like a YouTube heard it, so, yeah. All right, that's all I got to say about that, then. Um... I mean, another thing about Sevu Reese is that, like, um, he he's even said this. He's like, he's, he likes doing, I mean, he knows he's been working off a good platform. He's just finishing off all the good work. But, I mean, I suppose that's as well what a winger does as well, finishing. I mean, that's, yeah, you know, yeah. part of the job. Yeah. Um, and I guess, yeah. But that's what, but they don't want wingers that just finish good work. They, they want them to go want, looking for work, yeah. And, and who create stuff. Yeah. So he does create a few things though. So but maybe I don't think they're going to experiment. I think they're just going to choose their tested teams regardless of form. Yeah. There's no emergency for like wingers. They could choose him, but I don't know. Might be a bit late. But there will be some surprise selections though. Oh, yeah. It always is. So it would be interesting yeah. to see. No, and the rugby champ and uh, the the, uh, the World Cup, I don't think there'll be any surprises. Unless someone like Sonny Bill and yeah. they're playing so poorly. So that I think they will play their – the centre combination, I think that won't be experimented with. They're going to just play their best combo and then combos and see how it goes. And if it fails, then they might call up Lau Mapi or Good you. Mm. They might call them up anyway. We need, who knows? Anyway. Old um Joe Dirt as um Corey Jane called him. <laughs> but, yep, that's me. Well, yeah. So that was our predictions for the uh upcoming rugby championship the squad. Probably like what we're probably ninety percent probably right. But um, not, not many surprises. Yeah, not really. I mean, the, the, there's your, your standard picks, but um, just the ones that there could be a surprise selection. So, um, yeah. So it'll be definitely interesting to see. Um, I don't know when. Well, they, they obviously don't put a release date out of when they're naming the squad, are they? No, they are. I think it's, it's really soon. Maybe yeah. this weekend. Because when. Do you oh, know off the top of your head when the champ. What, when the championship starts? Uh, it starts... Uh, no. No idea. Man, anyway, I'll, I'll, Man I'll we are poor at research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, so, yeah, that was our squads. Leave a... Leave a like and leave a comment as well. Like, people watching, leave some comments of how... or If you agree with us or not, or who you'd probably put in there so yeah guess we'll we'll leave it at that now and we'll, and we'll eagerly await to see
the team naming. So that's us, and we'll catch you on another time and another place for Ruckus Rugby. Kung Pao.